All right, so this unit we've been talking about charge, and you learned in chemistry about charge. And I'm sure you learned opposites attract um, and likes repel. And so like in an, an atom, an electron and a proton are going to attract each other. Two electrons are going to repel each other. And you learned in chemistry that a neutron and an electron are just going to ignore each other, or a neutron and a proton are going to ignore each other. And that's still true. In physics, we aren't dealing with individual atoms, we're dealing with objects. So the thing to remember when I show you these demos is that these objects have protons and electrons in them at the same time. And that's going to be the key to understanding this, that an object itself, if it's negative, isn't all just electrons, but it has electrons and protons in it, and vice versa for a positively charged object. So I'm going to take our friend the balloon and our rabbit fur, and I'm going to get this all charged up. And then I have a wall here, right? Neutral, you know, didn't shock me, whatever. And I have a, we'll say this is a negatively charged balloon. So I have a bunch of extra electrons on here. So neutral object, negatively charged object. You probably know what's going to happen because you've done this before. But negative and a neutral, from chemistry, that shouldn't work. But they attract. So here we're seeing a negatively charged object and a neutral object attract each other. Um, I'm not going to go into the full explanation, but the key is that there's not just a bunch of neutrons in there. There's electrons and protons. So let's try it with something else. Um, let's try it with this little pith ball here. So this pith ball is neutral. So neutral object, negative object. And then we see they attract. Hmm, what's going on here? Um, one thing also, or the other, the pop can. I'm going to put pop can here. It's neutral. didn't shock me or anything. And I'm going to bring the balloon close to it. Woo! And what happens? They attract. Um, got some pieces of paper here. Just some trash. Bunch of neutral pieces of paper. Bring this close to it. And they attract as well. Oh, it's being up. Now I want to change one thing here, because you may be thinking that the negatives on here are attracting all these neutral objects, which is true. So what I'm going to change is I'm going to change this from negative. I'm going to steal the negatives off here, and I'm going to rub it with a piece of paper. And now I've stolen all the extra negatives and stolen extra. So now this is positive. So let's see if it still works. So they were missing electrons in here, so we have extra positives on there. Let's see what happens. Whoa! So now I have a positively charged object attracts a neutral. Let's see if it works with the paper. Oh, there it goes! Whoa! So it's not a rule that the negative object attracts a neutral, or just a negative object. You have a negative attracts a neutral, and a positive attracts a neutral. Okay? So um, we're going to learn about why that is, but remember the key is that this neutral object is not neutrons. It's protons and electrons in it. 